Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Aimstone channel. Today is Wednesday, and that's going to be my third consecutive day where I make video. Bitcoin goes up, so I do not mind. As of the time of this recording, Bitcoin is at $71,000. Fantastic. That means Bitcoin makes new local high. Last time Bitcoin was around 71k, that would be well, more than a month ago maybe slightly, slightly less, maybe three weeks ago. But let's not forget that in May, at around May 20th, uh, Bitcoin touched $72,000. So right now Bitcoin needs to gain additional $1,000 to make another local high. Let's see if Bitcoin will be able to break that level in the near future. Maybe today, possibly even tomorrow. Let's see from technical standpoint, as we can see, Bitcoin indeed uh, broke the resistance of this triangle. Now it is in more or less uh, price discovery mode in this uh, four hourly chart. So let's see what is going to be next for BTC. If you zoom out a bit, take a look at this uh, one daily Bitcoin chart. Yes, <laughs> this chart looks <laughs> very bullish indeed. And Bitcoin has been forming this falling wedge. Yes, we had the uh, resistance, we had the uh, support, uh, BTC price action broke the resistance not long ago, and now we are on the way higher. So, yes guys, um, remember those people who have been calling for $50,000 Bitcoin, <laughs> that never happened. Actually, Bitcoin bottomed at around well, like $56,000 soon after the Bitcoin having took place, and then from that point on, Bitcoin has been going higher. So the rest is history. Gary Salloway and whoever has been calling for 50k <laughs> probably regret their call just like they regret all the calls in 2023, 2024. So yes, man, I don't even really know who still listens to that guy. Additionally, in this uh, one daily Bitcoin chart, we have a 100 day simple moving average. As we can see, 100 days simple moon average acts more or less as a support. We had a decent bounce back in uh, what January 2024. BTC price action bounced back from this 100 days moon average. And then we had a bunch of, I don't want to say bounce backs, but uh, BTC price action indeed penetrated 100 days moon average a couple of times in May. But the good news is every time it is indeed bounce back from a 100 days moving average so right now it seems like bitc price action is diverging from a 100 days moving average which is obviously a good news and very bullish indeed bitcoin fear grid index today we are 75 we are greed we are higher than we were back yesterday at 73 last week 72 and yes it does make sense because btc has been increasing steadily for the past couple of days now we are at 71 thousand dollars let's see if $72,000, $73,000 could happen in the next couple days. Yes, I do think it is going to happen. So $71,000, it means we are $3,000 away from all time high. <laughs> that is great. Let's move on. Nayib Bukali, exactly three years ago, President Bukali took this stage at Bitcoin 2021 to announce El Salvador would be the first country to make Bitcoin a legal tender. Yes, congratulations to Nayib Bukali because he basically takes power away from the government and gives power to the people. Nobody else wants to do that. Only Nayib Bukali did that. So that's why Nayib Bukali is probably my favorite president in the world. Once again, I usually do not go into politics, but Nayib Bukali is the man. In fact, if you take a look at the El Salvador DCN strategy, as we can see, they have been buying Bitcoin in 2021 and in 2022, probably was not the best time to buy Bitcoin, but at last if you are a contrarian. So in 2023, he did not buy nothing, so it's 2024. But the good news is right now they have more than $400 million worth of Bitcoin. So they have more than 5,700 BTC and they are up by more than $81 million or 63%. So yes, I'm pretty sure uh, people of El Salvador are pretty delighted when they see those numbers. And by the way, that wallet is public. So no, the Bukali is not stealing any Bitcoin. You can literally check and see how much Bitcoin there is in that wallet. So 
Once again, congratulations to Nayibu Kali. Let's move on. Just in, Bitcoin will be worth at least half of the market caps of gold. Event X CEO says, gold, almost $16 trillion in market cap, Bitcoin $1.4 trillion. So if uh, Bitcoin would take half of the gold market cap, it means that Bitcoin would be at $400,000 per single coin. <laughs> yes, fantastic. Cannot wait. Let me give you a quick update what happened yesterday to Bitcoin spot ETFs inflow outflow because <laughs> yesterday was a humongous day. As we can see, yesterday BlackRock accumulated $274 million. Fidelity even more, $378 million. That's insane. Bitwise, $61 million. ARK, $138 million. <laughs> even Grayscale bought some Bitcoin, $28 million worth of Bitcoin. So, therefore, the net flow for yesterday will be 886 freaking million dollars <laughs> that would be the highest net flow in the past couple of months so therefore the total for blackrock will be almost 17 billion bucks fidelity almost 10 billion bitwise slightly more than 2 billion and arc 2.6 billion um grayscale sold 17.8 billion and the uh, the cumulative net flow more than 14.8 billion dollars i'm pretty sure tomorrow we will be over 15 billion and that is indeed all time high in fact if you take a look at this table a bitcoin etf net flows look at this yesterday we had a humongous day for net flow so this is definitely the biggest day for net flow since what since like march 11 March 12th, this is when uh, there was roughly a, a billion dollars worth of inflows. So now we have 886 mil. So that would be um, like three months UI. <laughs> Fantastic. And remember, guys, what I told you about this uh, ascending triangle, which is indeed it seems to be a bullish uh, pattern. So now BTC. Uh, ETF net flow breaks about the resistance of this triangle. So, of course, it is very bullish. Let's move on. Here is how much just $100 in Bitcoin will be worth if Cathy Wood's Bitcoin price prediction is correct. Let's take a look. The new prediction is higher than at the start of the year in January 2024. Wood stated that Bitcoin could hit $1.5 million by 2030 after the probability of the bull case has increased with SEC approval. This is the green light. Before they approved the spot ETFs, Wood predicted that Bitcoin could reach $1 million by 2030. Wood's investment thesis on Bitcoin relies on significant level of institutional adoption. While it is plausible that if institutional investors allocate 5% of their portfolio to Bitcoin, the price could reach $3.8 million. It is unlikely to happen by 2030, although institutional adoption has increased significantly in 2024. Unprecedented changes in the institutional landscape would be required for this to occur. So it seems like her base case right now, not this actually her bull case, $1.5 million by 2030. And uh, before spot Bitcoin TF approval, her bull case was $1 million. So how much $100 would be worth if you invest right now, comparing to then if her prediction would be correct? Well, if you talk about $1 million, 100 bucks, Right now, we have $71,000, so that would be 14x, so $100 would turn into $1,400. But if 1.5 mil, it means that, um, well, like 21x, so 100 bucks would turn into $2,100. So yes, 21x from this point on, that would be insane. Oh, man. And lastly, let me show you some interesting Bitcoin charts. This first chart represents global liquidity M2 versus Bitcoin price. And as we can see, global liquidity over $94 trillion Bitcoin price, about $70,000. So in global liquidity, it seems it is uh, creeping up higher and higher. Maybe it's going to break up way higher, similar to uh, Bitcoin spot EF and not flows. <laughs> so yes, guys, get ready because if it is going to break up higher, Bitcoin price will skyrocket. 
Here is another interesting chart. It represents a Bitcoin having cycles. It actually represents what happened after the having. So, so far we surpassed 46 days since the last Bitcoin having that took place well, like in uh, April 18, April 19, whatever the date was. So back then Bitcoin was at 63K and right now we are at 71K. So Bitcoin gained well, like $8,000, which is fantastic. So, and this is just a beginning. The real fun begins well, like a couple of months after Bitcoin having. Are you guys ready? Personally, I am. And lastly, let's take a look at this quick video where Mike Nomogratz will explain what he thinks Bitcoin will be by the end of the year. Let's take a look. Let's just start with the simple things. Let's start with Bitcoin in the crypto world because we are flirting with that $70,000 level. And you sit here, we have been around this space for a while now. Is there more upside risk or downside risk as you see it now in the crypto world? Listen, I think we're getting skewed to the upside. I mean, just the fact that we're here at a crypto show uh, and Bloomberg uh, so shows how long we've come since 2015, 16, 17. But we kind of got to the finish line. And when I say that, DC has finally ag agreed in principle that crypto legislation has to happen, that it should be bipartisan. Uh, we still have a couple holdouts, but it's the last few weeks have been unbelievably positive in pushing the Democrats forward, seeing this. They don't want it to be a political issue. And so that which was a headwind is becoming a tailwind. It's not a full tailwind yet. Um, we have governments that can't stop spending money. And so that just is so powerful for the Bitcoin narrative. And then all of a sudden you hear, wait a minute, the state of Wisconsin's pension fund bought $140 million of Bitcoin. And so as we get more pension funds in, more institutions in, you know, there's not a lot of sellers. So the question we know you hate then, where do we end the year? Listen, if we take out the 73,000 in the next week or so, we're gonna end the year at 100,000, somewhere around there or even higher. Uh, markets work. They they create ranges, and when the ranges, the top of the range breaks, you know you have a nice extension. And so, you know, the bottom of that range was started around 40, so 40 to 70. The 70 goes to 100, and so that's a good enough target. Okay, we saw spot Bitcoin ETFs already get approved this year, and we've seen a lot of inflows there. So it makes me wonder what the next catalyst is for Bitcoin to actually break 73 and get to your year-end target of 100,000. Yeah. So I I had had. The same question asked me, I don't know, five weeks ago, and I said, I don't think it will unless we get one of two things happen. More regu regulatory clarity, which I thought was a low probability at that point, and or the Fed starting to move. Uh, we're getting the regulatory clarity. And even though it's not perfect, we got enough that people now realize this is coming. And why is that important? What does it mean? So if SAB 121, this, this arcane accounting bill, at, at, in time gets overturned, um, it allows Bank of New York and State Street and others to get into custody. If, if the infrastructure bill, if the FIT 21 bill gets approved, it allows Goldman Sachs and Citibank and all these other people to start doing sales and trading. And so as you bring those institutions in, huge money follows. So as Novgorod's indicated, he thinks Bitcoin could reach $100,000. So we are indeed breaking out higher. Well, right now we are at 71K. If you break $74,000, that would be new all-time high. And then we would be in the true price discovery mode. So $100,000 is no-brainer. Let me know what do you guys think. Comment below, subscribe, and like this video.